Good day everybody. This is the knitting side of my channel. Now I'm going to show you my sweaters the tops very quickly before the power runs out on my iPhone which was supposed to be charging but didn't. So this one you've seen the blue ranunculus. I'm wearing my white ranunculus. This is my favorite top. This is from Yarnspirations, the pattern. Hello. And I'll try to have photographs of everything. This was the first one that I did, Yarnspirations, and it's much larger and a loose top. Uh, I love this picnic cotton from Pearl Soho. This one and my pink one are Pearl Soho, and they're my favorites. And I'm making another one, Pearl Soho, and this is called Sugar Plum. Now that one, I actually frogged it. My husband says, frog it, what does that mean? Yeah, you go, rip it, rip it, rip it. Okay, so then my green one. My, this is about strings, rainforest green. 100% cotton. And the ones, the ranunculus I like the best are, hold on, my blue one because it's nice and soft and it just drapes well. And this one here, it just drapes well. This one, even though it's fairly good in terms of um, being sort of soft and flexible, it doesn't drape the same, it doesn't feel the same. So I'm probably not going to wear it that much. I did wear it to a friend's 73rd birthday party and partway through the party I changed into this one <laughs> because it was a bit of a cool day and this is warmer and just way more comfortable. Sometimes I think of this one as like a blanket that I'm wearing. Okay, that's it for shorts before my phone runs out. Silly phone. Silly charger unit, not working. And I'll take pictures of these and I'll show you more. This pattern I knit up using the about strings and I had the whole thing complete. And I just knew I wasn't going to wear it. So I pulled the whole thing apart which was kind of sad in a way because it was some of the best joining I had ever done. But yeah, it was either that or buy more wool and I'm trying to conserve my wool spending right now and pull back a bit. So I pulled the sweater apart and I'm reusing the wool. Now let me tell you the story about this one. The first blue and then green and pink colors were the first skeins of wool I had ordered from Pearl Soho, the picnic cotton. And I made them into dishcloths or washcloths. And just to see how it would knit up and how it would stand up if I threw them in the washing machine, threw them in the dryer, and how did it all go? Well, it turned out really, really well. So I was very, I'm still very impressed with Pearl Soho's Picnic Cotton, and I've actually ordered it about four times. The first three colors on that top were claws, washcloths that I had knit up, and I frogged them, and I started knitting it into the Yarnspirations tee, and it worked well, so I had to obviously order more cotton. The lighting of my camera, unfortunately, doesn't do this top or a few of them justice. But this is the pink one I knit up with the Pearl Soho Picnic Cotton. This is the Sugar Plum one. Now that one turned out okay, but it was, it was the one that was a little bit too big when I wore it and I wondered should I make it into a dress or not. So I actually pulled it apart up to the sleeve area and started decreasing the stitches every fourth row and then every other row 
to bring it in. So, so far I think it's doing well. This is my burgundy sweater that I'm still working on. I'm knitting the sleeves and I'm going to attach them later. But the size was right, so I started measuring the tops that actually fit me and were comfortable just to see what the uh, width was on at least one side. <laughs> and so I found 19, 20 inches wide on the front was enough. And uh, obviously this top had just way too much ease. If you've ever made a video, I can say this. Don't you just love it when the sound doesn't turn on or it's run out or some power has run out on something? So I'm talking about how wide that one particular top was that I could maybe made into a dress. But instead I pulled it apart and I'm redoing it. So that's what I'm working on now. I will probably have this finished by the weekend. This is Wednesday, a couple of days, I should have it done. And I'm not sure, I think it's going to be just about maybe 23 inches wide. I have to measure it again, but it's going to work for me. So what did I learn? Well, I certainly had a lot of fun with the ranunculus pattern and I might do your inspirations to you. I think I'm pretty much done with the ranunculus. Um, I'm going to go on to a different pattern altogether. I like the picnic cotton. It's the softest, nice, uh, easy to work with, and it has a wonderful drape to it. Um, and the big thing, here's the big thing. Measure. Try on and measure. Try on, try on, try it on at least three times through the process. And then I think it'll work out for you. Measure a garment that you know you like. Maybe something you've knit previously, or even if it's just a t-shirt that you really enjoy, figure out why you like it. Is it the is it close fitting? Is it loose fitting? Measure it and then compare your garment that you're working on against that. And then I think you'll have good success. Don't learn the hard way. <laughs> well, ah, we often learn through doing, so you can learn the hard way if you want. Anyway, tell me about it. <laughs> Happy knitting. Bye.